I'm Diana, you're watching Physics Girl, and welcome to part two of Physics Riddles with my friend Simone Yet. If you haven't seen the first part, there's a warm-up question I asked Simone and an introduction to who she is. There's a link in the description, there's a card somewhere. So here's a recap of the first riddle and the answer. You've got two spheres, two balls that are the exact same size and shape, but different weights. One is heavier, the other one's lighter. You drop them from real high up. Which one experiences the higher force of air resistance once the balls reach terminal velocity? Uh, they experience the same. Okay, go on. Because I think air resistance, uh, I mean the difference between like a big big sphere and a feather or like an iron ball and a feather falling mm -hmm. is that they experience different amounts of air resistance because of the different shape mm -hmm. and not of the weight so if they have the same shape they ought to experience the same air resistance if they have yeah. the same surface and they're treated with say a coat of epoxy right yeah okay so <laughs> imagine that they are treated with a yeah. coating of epoxy and so they have the same surface are they the same size they're the exact same size. Okay. Yeah. But one is heavier than the other one. I think the same. And thus will fall at the same speed. Okay. No, am I wrong? You look like I'm wrong. You are not correct. Oh. But I don't I don't want to give you the answer yet. Okay. Because I feel like I feel like you can get there. Okay, I can get there. Yeah. Air resistance is proportional to um it's the speed. It, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe even the velocity squared, I'm not sure. But the air resistance equation depends on whether the flow is turbulent or laminar, but typically it's proportional to velocity squared. So the question is also kind of asking which one will come to the higher terminal velocity. I assume that the iron one is going to fall at a <laughs> faster pace and thus right. experience less air resistance. No, wait. More air so resistance. More air resistance. Wait, so so maybe are they going to fall at the same speed? No. They, no, they reach different terminal velocities. Okay. Uh, hmm. But the terminal velocity means that it's not accelerating because the air is pushing it back as much as it's gravity. So yes. that's why it's not accelerating. Exactly. That was a really good explanation, terminal velocity. When you reach terminal velocity, you're not changing your velocity. So mm -hmm. therefore, air resistance equals gravity. Yeah. yeah. So the air pushes the, the ball as, as much as gravity pulls it, mm -hmm. which means that the, the iron ball is going to experience more because it's heavier. But they're not the same speed. Let me ask you this question. On which ball is the force of gravity higher, or the, are they the same? The iron ball. The gravitational pull for the iron ball is going to be higher because yes. it's heavier. Yes. Okay, so it will reach a higher terminal velocity mm -hmm. because it would take a longer time for the air to match the gravitational pull. Well, it takes a uh, higher force. It would take a higher force, yeah. yeah. So basically, exactly. the, the two balls are falling. The wood one is like, ooh, ooh, the air is pulling me or like pushing back. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop accelerating. But the iron ball is like, I still got more in me. I'm gonna drop, keep on accelerating until the air actually counters that. Exactly. Yeah. It's the heavy ball that needs yeah. the higher force to slow mm -hmm. it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or just slow down the acceleration. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not to slow it down. No. Just slow down the acceleration. Yeah. You corrected me. <laughs> yes! You can gold star. I'm giving myself gold stars. Ooh! Oh, you do have gold stars. I do have gold stars because one never knows what life throws at you. You got a stick for yourself. I'm giving my, I got three. I got I got two and a half answers, right? You did. You did. Yeah, so I got that, in half. I, that one's I'll take the rest because I told you the answer, so. <laughs> no, you get so heavy. You get another yeah. one here. I feel like this is not fully fair because I'm sitting here on like my ivory tower, like asking you questions and telling you if you're right or wrong. I should give you the opportunity to like. Okay. To ask I me. got some questions like, for you. A robot question. Okay. I'm going to ask you some engineering questions. Okay. Uh, what does a transistor do? It transists. <laughs> you get one of one of the spikes too. You got two of the spikes spike. of the golden star. I mean, I know you might Thank be a good you. teacher, but I'm obviously the more encouraging one of the two of us. I didn't I bring got, any gold stars. You for didn't you. bring any gold stars. I got resources. This is even more embarrassing because I took more computer science and electronics classes than I did physics classes in college. Did physics you classes. are an embarrassment to your parents. <laughs> to my parents. <laughs> 
<laughs> they love transistors. <laughs> it's not a capacitor which stores electricity. It's not a resistor which resists current. It's not a, like, a transistor you can change from high voltage to a low voltage. That's a transformer. <laughs> I don't know. You, you do know, though. Uh, you have it somewhere there lurking in your brain. Uh, so we got a yeah. little transistor right here. So basically, we could have a high voltage go through it, and we can control it with a lower voltage. It's like a little, it's like a little horse. That It's like a tugboat. The tugboat is controlling the direction of the cruise ship. I would say more it's like a floodgate. And you have somebody, you have a little guy or a little girl sitting yeah. and pressing a button that, that opens or closes the floodgate. Okay. So it doesn't, it's like, I can control this really high, a lot of current, but I only have to like actually press these two buttons. Okay. All right. You're sitting in a boat. Okay. Holding a rock. Mm -hmm. And it's a rock that will sink in water. Is it a rock or the rock? Small thing in your hand, mm -hmm. not the human. You throw it off of the boat into the water and it sinks. Mm-hmm. Does the water level go up, go down, or stay the same? And saving the answer for this riddle till tomorrow's video. So check back again tomorrow for the answer to that riddle and to get the last riddle that I gave Simone. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to Simone and happy physicsing. Thank you.